Grassland birds are declining faster than any other group of birds in North America. Most of the declines have been linked to loss and fragmentation of grassland habitat. There also are causes like chemical use. Uh, grasslands are being lost at alarming rates. Every year we're losing grasslands to additional croplands, urban sprawl, and a lot of the remaining grasslands are invaded by exotic species, which aren't as beneficial for grassland bird reproduction. They create more of monotypes rather than the really diverse grassland ecosystems that birds evolved with. Of all the grassland species endemic to North America, 75% of them are declining at statistically significant rates according to breeding bird survey data. All species are an, an indicator of ecological health or ecosystem health. And when you lose a species, there's a reason for it. Something connected that likely is also connected to people. The reason species decline are also reasons that people could be facing some kind of issue at the same time. We're here today with the Grassland Bird Tour to, to illustrate to folks that people who live off the land using cattle as production, as their livelihood, also serves as a, a tool or a way to conserve grasslands and grassland birds. One of the things that the Grassland Coalition has been doing for a long time is having a bird tour. Um, the Grassland Coalition started really as an organization to try to educate producers about how to better care for their grasslands. But we've also learned that you have to tell the general public this story as well. And there's a really active group of people that are called bird watchers. <laughs> and they spend a lot of resources and they have an incredible amount of knowledge. And the key of it is, is so many of our birds here in South Dakota are tied to grasslands. Even though our grasslands are pretty small, in a lot of ways, and fragmented, you know, with cropland and houses and all of that stuff around, those species are still here. And I think we'll learn a lot about what we can do to make these healthier. This morning, we're sitting on this beautiful hillside that overlooks the Beaver Creek bottom. When I was younger, we had some livestock that we grazed on this hillside, but to be honest, that livestock hasn't been on this farm for many, many years. And this hillside was idle. It was just sitting here um, doing its thing. And, and that lack of use, that lack of management was actually not good for this grassland. So this spring we burnt this field and now we're just seeing an amazing amount of diversity come back. So a big thing that can help grassland birds is restoring especially highly erodible cropland and replacing it with really high diversity plantings. Plantings that contain native grasses and native flowers. Um, they provide the habitat diversity necessary to attract more a more diverse grassland bird community. Grassland birds are sensitive to planted tree cover. Um, because it's an obstacle that wasn't historically present on grasslands. So in areas where you want to promote grassland bird diversity, it is helpful to remove uh, planted trees to stop the invasion of red, eastern red cedar into the grassland um, because those planted woodlands and the tree component a lot of times attracts avian predators and mammalian predators and the nests become more easily predated when that woodland cover is present. Well, one of the most important things we can do is work to keep native prairies on the ground. So keeping our present grasslands intact is a big way to maintain the grassland bird populations we have. And in order to do that, we need ranchers, we need livestock out there that are using the grasslands, keeping the grasslands healthy so that the grassland birds have a place to nest. Um, other things people can do when you do plant anything, even if it's a garden, use native species. It can help 
all birds and, and pollinators. There are a lot of agencies working on grassland restoration and one of the current goals is to replace the areas when we do replace them with areas that have a lot of diversity of native plants, grasses and flowers. I really feel strongly that, you know, ranchers that have grass and, you know, kind of manage in a relatively sustainable way, still economically productive, are making a difference. I think we're doing okay, and efforts like this bird tour and other bird tours in other states are increasing awareness of grassland issues and helping. If we provide the diversity of habitat on the land, um, both in the grasslands but in our riparian areas, we're gonna have a diversity of bird species that are gonna use them. And so that's going to be kind of the key thing, right? We're gonna have those species here and they're going to love to be a part of this. So that's what we're striving for. And, the, and it was great to have those people here. We had a great group of teachers that joined us as well. And wow, isn't that important that they're gonna be able to carry back to their classrooms the fact that South Dakota was 96% grass, it's not now, grasslands are important, grasslands provide us so many things, along with the birds, the clean water, and all of the, the clean air things, and the diversity of habitat for the life in the soil, and a home for us to have livestock, and to graze livestock, and be profitable on our grasslands, and things like that. So, so many messages that those teachers will take home.